Let's upgrade my FreeNAS server to TrueNAS Core. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so what we're going to go ahead and do is, right now we are actually in my FreeNAS server. As you do see, it's a, pl a generic platform. This is actually just my custom computer. It's actually my old computer, my old i7-2600K. 3.4 gigahertz, about 16 gigs of RAM. Right now I do have a storage pool already saved here. Uh, it is just listed as storage drive. I went pretty basic with it. Um, I do have just a 8 terabyte uh, drive in there with some room to grow, of course, which is why I actually just put the put the whole computer in a new case. Um, but today, that's not our focus. We're going to go ahead and upgrade from FreeNAS 11.3 U4 to TrueNAS Core Beta 12. So what we want to go ahead and do to start off with is we want to save our configuration file just in case anything goes awry. I can reinstall FreeNAS or even TrueNAS Core onto the drive. Uh, that I have booting and be able to restore all my settings, you know, restore my storage pool, what have you. So we're actually going to go to system and then we're going to go to general. There's a button here that is save config and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and click on save config. It's asking you if it, it says that it does contain sensitive data, all of that. It does ask if you want to go ahead and do a secret seed password or of course the encryption keys being pulled. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm using this literally for my own personal computer, from my personal computer and everything. Honestly, my FreeNAS server is pretty much storage for files and my Plex server. That's it. I haven't really gone much further into it. I might go ahead and build a, a free, uh, um, do a Minecraft server in it because I have had some people from work asking to do that. But for now, we're going to go ahead and leave it as is. So we're going to go ahead and click save, and that does download. So that did download to uh, my download option here. And that actually did download up to here. Sorry, it's a little cut off. I am using an ultra wide screen. Sorry about that. Um, but this is actually where it does save the database file in the download section. I'm actually using a browser that a lot of people don't really like using, but I'm using Mac OS, so I'm using Safari. Um, so now we have that submitted. We have that saved. We're gonna actually go back to the dashboard. So here is an option that does say check for updates. Now it does say updates available. So what we want to do is click that. And then it's going to go ahead and search and check. Uh, right now it's set for check for updates daily. And download if available. That is enabled. Yet it hasn't been downloading and updating on its own. But this is just basically some of the, the basic updates to... Um, FreeNAS overall. This is all their stable stuff currently. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna change this. I'm not gonna go nightlies. Those are way, way too bleeding edge for me to have all my storage stuff on. We're gonna go ahead and do just the TrueNAS 12.0 beta. So we're gonna go ahead and switch what train we're gonna use. We wanna go ahead and confirm that by clicking this checkbox here and then hitting continue. So we're going to wait for it to refresh. Then as you see, it's going to go ahead and delete the free NAS. It's going to update the base OS to the 12.0 beta. It's going to go ahead and update FreeBSD, which is of course some of the base as well, to the 12.0 beta. And then you'll actually see this says the free NAS package tools. That still says free NAS package tools. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to download those updates. Oh, look, and it actually asked me to save my configuration anyway, even though I did that ahead of time. We're going to just tell it to save again. All right, so yes, I want it to go ahead and apply, apply the updates and reboot the system after it does download. So I'm going to check the box and I'm going to hit download. So here we have it going ahead and applying the update. This does take a little bit of time, not too much though. Uh, the other day I went and updated some things with uh, FreeNAS and to be honest, it didn't take too long. I do have pretty decent internet speeds here, so that does help things along a little bit, but looks like it is going along. We'll let this uh, go by.
All right. So now at this point in time, it is actually rebooting the computer. So we're going to go ahead and wait for that to go through. As you see, actually, I just got the pop-up showing my shared drive is now not connected. So we're going to go ahead and just disconnect that for now. So what we are hoping for is that the system boots up just fine. Fingers crossed. All right, guys. So as you see, page came back up. I didn't even have to do anything. I just sat here and waited. Let me go ahead and get logged in. Wait for it to load in. There we go. Now it's actually refreshed. I had to actually just refresh the page for it to show everything properly. And as you see, it does say True NAS Core now. It says, Welcome to your new NAS. Not really new. It is also the same NAS I already had. So there's the documentation site, the community forums, um, enterprise level links, things of that nature. We're going to go ahead and just click on Get Started. Well, there's an issue already right there. It's definitely not showing that properly. So let's. Let's actually just go and see if we can actually just reopen that. There we go. Now it's actually showing the percentage properly. No, it's not. <laughs> well, that's what you get with beta software, isn't it, guys? Um, as you see, it does show now true NAS 12.0 beta. It looks like everything did go through fine. I'm going to also, just to make sure, I'm actually going to go ahead and reconnect my server. My shared drive did remount without any issue whatsoever. So, looks like that was successful. Um, I do have, it looks like my Plex jail should be running. Yep, and I tried running, like I said, I did try showing, running the Minecraft server, as you see here. That didn't work. Um, just to make sure that Plex is working properly, we're going to go ahead and see if I can open it. So, actually, let's just update it, shall we? Cool. All right, well, I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> let's go ahead and go to the plugin then. There it is, since it is actually a plugin. Um, let's see if I can do update here. Uh, I'm just going to hit manage, make sure that the Plex server opens. All right, good. My Plex server did open. Plenty of movies and such on there. All right. But that's it, guys. So that was actually just the upgrade once again from uh, FreeNAS, that was 11.3 U4 to TrueNAS Core Beta. This is the 12.0 Beta. All right, if you guys did like this content today, definitely hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Either way, that's your choice. Uh, either way, it does help the YouTube algorithm overall. Uh, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. It's Squappy's Videos. My name is Craig. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.